that you would do? I'm like, what's missing? well i am going to be doing a get ready with me today um just like a quick little makeup video so i'm gonna just start out with this oh my gosh so i bought this like ysl um i think i broke it it's like literally stuck oh no um so it's like my primer and the little tip came off which it had been kind of broken but i wonder if it screws on at all that sucks i should have taken it back when it first kind of like popped off but oh well that's my fault i guess but i'm gonna have to figure out something because i can't just like leave it or it'll dry out right i've been out like tanning so much so my skin is just peeling especially my forehead so I try to like keep moisturizer on it. I use um, the aquifer that I've been using on my leg. Um, but I don't know that it's working very well. I honestly think that this is really just Vaseline. Oh, got it on my teeth. Okay, I'm gonna put some of my leg on. Did I just got a shower? So I was gonna post like this video this YouTube video for a vlog that I did in Seattle, but I didn't finish it. And it wasn't like too too much content anyway so i posted something on instagram if y'all want to see it so you're more than welcome to um i don't know what i'm gonna do about my eyebrows so i don't know if you can tell but i dyed them like a light brown <laughs> a light brown color and obviously my pencil is not that color anymore so i'm gonna try just some brow gel of course my hands are greasy okay let's see and this is just clear i'll put a little of that and i i do want to dye them a little lighter too so i thought that i'd let the hairs like rest <laughs> because i don't want them to fall off i i did lose a few while doing this um but it wasn't a lot so I'm like, let me just let them rest. Seattle was a lot of fun. Um, so I didn't do like too, too much. I definitely went to like explore. There's a lot of beautiful like lakes out there. So I spent a couple of days at the lake. I did get in the water. I was kind of like scared because it was deep and like, I don't know. You never know what's in lake water. And it's just like the fear of the unknown. And it was really cold, but it was so hot out. It was like, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. So I got in the water. We bought like snacks, had like a little picnic. And they had this air show that was pretty cool. Um, so we were able to watch like the, um, I was going to say the spaceships. There are probably spaceships out there watching. Um, but was able to see the, um, I guess they're like fighter jets is what they look like and they like flew across and they did all these different like i don't know it was just like a show it was just a show and so that was pretty cool to watch and then we basically had to hike to get there to the lake because it's a bunch of hills so it's kind of like mountainy out there um, so we had to hike to where we were going. It was about like 40 minutes from where we stayed at the hotel. And it was nice exercise. And like I said, it was beautiful outside. But then one of the days I went um, downtown. So caught the bus, which I hadn't caught a bus in like forever. So it definitely brought back like memories from, <laughs> from high school. I used to catch the bus going to school. I don't know um i guess the school bus like didn't really come to my neighborhood so i had to catch the city bus but it was fun um went to the space needle right it's called the space needle that was pretty cool um i didn't go up in it though because i went up into like the sears tower and i feel like it's all the same and they charge like what 40 something dollars to go up there just to like look out into the city and i feel like once you've kind of done it before you don't really need to do it again, but that's just my opinion. I'd rather spend like 
spend money on like more food or something. I don't know. So I always buy like extra makeup when I think that I'm gonna run out. <laughs> so I have another pencil in here and it's the same espresso color. We're just gonna keep it basic per use. Let's see if my um, eyeliner game is still on point. Okay, well this is the easy part, but it's the wing. I think I got it. You know, it never comes out the same. Nope, I messed up. Ugh, that is not cute. Let's see, look. <laughs> Dang it. So then what you do is you just drag it out even further. This is easier to try and fix because it's waterproof and trying to take off like waterproof is very difficult but i can see like where i actually want it so <clears throat> let's see if i just see i knew i was gonna mess it up okay that's as good as it's gonna get but it does look a little bit better. I wanna go like this. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do the other side. Easy. Easy peasy. But now I'm gonna probably have to go in and like darken it up a little bit on the ends to make it match. <sighs> I'm already tired. It's time to go home. Mm. I haven't been feeling going out lately. I would rather just stay home and chill, just chill. That's why I really haven't been like pushing out much content because I've just been at home and doing nothing and I'm sure you don't want to see me just like laying in bed not doing anything. Well, the past few days I have downloaded The Sims onto my new computer which I said I was not going to do because it takes up so much memory so then i was like okay well let me reinstall it on the old laptop because um why not right like i could use that one just for that well then you know i've been having issues with the battery and i plugged it in i to charge for a few hours right and the little orange light stayed on so it was like as if it was charging you know, I came back to that thing like a couple hours later, it was like at 3%. Anyways, let's go ahead and, like I really wish I had a new technique, but I just absolutely do not. Okay, so here I am just, oh, see, it's been so long, I forgot. I need to put that um, concealer, that color corrector on my face. Um, just like here probably and here clear up some of the dark spots I'm gonna go in with some white concealer I really don't know what I'm doing but something's telling me to do this so that's why okay I hope that works out mm hmm Okay, and then we'll see if that really brightens. Gosh, I just really need someone to show me because, like, I watch tutorials and my makeup just does not come out looking as fire. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <sighs> okay. I'm going in with a small brush. Y'all, I've been taking, like, vitamins lately because I have had, like, these, like, stomach cramps, I guess we'll call them. Oh, my gosh. I, like, just cannot stand taking vitamins. They make me feel, like, nauseous. And I remember when I was, like, working out, like, really heavy when I had lost, like, 30 pounds a couple years ago and I was taking vitamins every day, I was always just like, feeling so sick. I don't like that feeling. 
I really don't. And then we're just gonna cover up the spots. Okay, so I bought a new beauty blender. I'm gonna use it. I think I just defeated the purpose of what I was doing with this contour. And I'm like, why doesn't my makeup come out like that? It's a process, right? I think my process might just be a little jacked up. But like I said, I haven't done this in a while, so. I'm just like trying to remember. Oh. I can't leave this looking like that. I think it's because like I just assume that once you put on the foundation, the foundation's going to make everything better. <laughs> okay. So now what's next powder is it powder next wait do you put powder? no 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 i think it's foundation let's go with foundation <gasps> whoa that's a mess okay so my fenty foundation brush ended up like just coming apart so i've been using my old reliable mac to take a mirror outside and look and see how this looks. Let's go. You guys, I don't think this is my color right now. But I have no other makeup. I have to take a mirror out there because this cannot be. It's not the color that's the worst part. My application is terrible. Oh my gosh. And my face is hairy. I don't even know if this is fixable. I mean, I really just want to take it off. Like, that's how bad it looks. <laughs> and I just like pulled my wing to my freaking temple. Okay, I just think people are very meticulous with their makeup, and I, I just have not been. That's what I'm gonna chalk it up to. There's no way people compliment this. <laughs> Maybe they're just being nice. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way people compliment my makeup. They're joking. They're like, joke is on me. I get it. Because that's how bad this looks. I should not have walked outside. <laughs> I'm just like in shock, you guys. I mean, yes, I know I've been like lazy with it because I'm just like, oh, okay. Like, I'm just gonna put like a little bit on. But I don't think I've ever walked outside. So we're using powder today because, because it helps. <laughs> because it helps. Okay. I'm putting a little on and then I'm putting more on top and then I'll let it sit. Oh my gosh, you guys, I had so many bad dreams last night. I don't know what the deal was, but I had a dream that I was like on this cruise and I've never been on a cruise by the way, but I think maybe it's just something that I've been thinking about. Well, Justin Bieber was there and he was cheating on Selena and I wanted to like make sure she was okay. I was like on her side and I felt like really bad. Well then I went to like my room i guess but the room yeah it was it was on a cruise ship but i didn't have a balcony right so there's like this little like window i open the window i look outside and i can see like this dolphin and the dolphin is like coming by and he's like like playing and i'm like waving and like i'm like okay i know he's like talking to me well he's like following the ship and i'm still like hanging out the window and then i got this like really bad feeling and i'm like okay well what's going on and then He's like turning into a person and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I like usually I'll stick around in my dreams to like see what's going to happen. But in this one, I was like, uh, -uh. like there's no way. So I woke myself up, but like he turned into a person, jumped on the ship, was going to come around to my window. So I like closed my window and then like was like freaking out. And like during that panic, I ended up waking up, woke up went back to sleep mind you and then i had another bad dream i had a dream that there because i've been thinking about like those murder hornets lately so i had a dream that the murder hornets were flying around 
I caught one picked its body off and I was using the bottom of the like murder hornet it was like like this long like his um stinger and there was this one man in particular and I was like trying to make sure like he was gonna die so I was like stabbing him with this murder hornet and there were like a couple of other people that could have been stabbed possibly um I don't know I really, I don't know what was going on. I don't know why I was having those dreams. Um, but it was a little, a little freaky. I think I'm like more conscious and like aware while I'm dreaming. And I'm kind of freaked out about it. I was like really trying not to push the foundation all the way up because that's where I'm peeling. Oh, oh my goodness. They're just getting bigger. Like, you know, once you put a little bit, then more comes. Okay. We're done. We're done with the peeling. Not with the face. Because we have to fix the face. And I've been liking the, like, tanned, burnt kind of look. So, that is what we're going for look a little red once i like blend it all together it'll look better okay so i've been having issues with my apartment complex that's a little story i'm gonna tell you guys and it's nothing that can't be fixed it's literally just like this one girl who works in the front office in particular and she's just such a bitch like for no reason, right? Just because she wants to be. Literally, the first encounter I had with her, I walked in and I was like, hey, my name is Taylor. I'm an apartment, blah, blah, blah. And I believe I have a package up here, right? Cause like sometimes it is and sometimes they just put it in um, like this big locker all together. So I didn't know. The package actually did end up being in the front office, whatever. She was just like not a nice person, right? She wasn't like mean, but she was just like, ugh, like I was bothering her. And I'm like, okay, like thinking to myself, like this is your job. I don't understand like why I'm bothering you, but okay. <sighs> then I go in there and it's time to like talk about like renewal. I'm like, I'm thinking about renewing, but possibly want to move to another unit like what do you have available and she's like why and i was like well damn like literally that was her tone and i was like well because and you know i knew like i still need to be kind because they have you know that like power right to be able to either like help me out or not which they did not um which was like well there's another unit it's by the pool but you need to reapply for it we'll have to redo everything and i was like oh okay i was like well that might be like a little bit easier i was like plus like a pool view like yes that sounds amazing and she was like oh like she just like rolled her eyes i was like okay so that happened several different encounters happened with this girl i'm talking about like a total of like eight or nine just like her being rude for no reason so I'm like pissed, right? So the last straw was my friend came over. She was sitting in the front office. I took my um, insurance renewal over to her and she said it was wrong, said that she would email me, which she never did. She told me twice, I'll email you, I'll email you. She never did. I was like, okay, whatever. That happened. Anyway, so then I told my friend, she was like, what's up with that girl? And I was like, she's just rude. Like, she's just always rude. And I was like, did she speak to you when you walked in? She was like, no. I was like, really? I was like, well, like, she didn't ask you if you needed anything. Like, what if you were there, like, waiting for an apartment? Like, she could have sold her an apartment because she's, like, looking for one. Like, she's stupid. And costing the company money, honestly. I even heard her, like, talking to her boyfriend on the phone once. It was just, like, all, like, really, like inappropriate work situations so i'm just like done my friend texted me she's like did you hear back from the front office so i emailed the community manager 
because I didn't know who the manager was because they have so much like turnover, which is fine. Apartment complexes usually do. I get that, whatever. But um, then he emails me and he's like, I forwarded your email to so-and-so. She's the manager over there. And I'm like, okay, no like sympathy, no whatever. And he's supposed to be the community manager. I'm like, y'all are terrible. But I guess since I was a customer experience manager, like I kind of understand like how people should be treated. Like it's your freaking job, dude. Like even if you're gonna pass someone on, like there's a way to like say it. And like, honestly, that's what this is all about. Is just like, it's how you speak to people. So then um, I email, I like the, the email was sent. The lady emails me, the manager, and she's like, hey, would love to like sit down and like discuss things. When's a good time I can give you a call. And I was like, oh, you can give me a call on Friday. She said either like today or Friday. And this was like earlier in the week. And I was like, oh, Friday would be cool. Do you think I heard from that lady? Absolutely not. So um, I'm just kind of like over it at this point. I'm over their lack of customer service. Their rent is way too expensive to be, be like treated the way that I am here. And I don't ask for much like i never go down to the office never need anything unless it's like my package or whatever and the staff that was there previous i used to like go down there and take them starbucks and like donuts and cake just because like i appreciated them and they never like did anything crazy for me it was just like the fact that they were just like kind people and you know like we were we were cool these people absolutely not and I'm just irritated at this point. I wish I didn't renew with them, but at the same time, I just had my accident. So there was no way that I could have moved, like absolutely no way. And then if you think about like moving costs associated with it, it's like, do you want to pay like an extra $500 up front or do you want to pay like on the back end kind of thing? So yeah i'm just over it so i'm like maybe i should look into buying a house which i wanted to but i just i don't know i've never done it before so it's like fear of the unknown plus there are so many advantages to renting as well um and as frequent like as i'm gone it's like the upkeep and all that stuff i'm just like i don't know like i, I don't know what to do at this point I know I want to like stay in this city if not move like closer to downtown um because I really like that area or like closer to like into town um but I don't know I don't know so that's what's new with me <laughs> you see why that question is just kind of like ugh because it's like do you really want to hear me like nag about like what's been going on I just want to play The Sims. I just want to play The Sims. Okay, so this is the finished look. Actually, I need some lip gloss on. I don't want to put the gloss on. Um, maybe I can just do some liner. I don't know what happened. Okay, so the camera ended up just like turning off automatically and it wasn't the battery this time um but then i was like oh my gosh i need to put this earring back in and i thought that the hole was closed up i was really struggling to push it in it's this one right here this little jewel here giving me such a difficult time well i realized that the angle that i was putting it in was not correct and i was using one of the earrings that they um do like piercings with so yeah it was like stabbing and i wasn't even doing it through. i was trying to pierce another hole that's um, i guess what was happening which another little just one little small tiny stud would look so cute right there and then no this ear i don't know i don't know i'm just like craving instead of piercing i'm gonna go get my eyebrow done no I'm JK, JK. All right, well, now this is the finished look. So I guess I'm gonna put some clothes on and then that will be it. 
so let me figure out like what I'm gonna wear and then I'll show you guys okay so as you can see I took my makeup off <laughs> I am not dressed to go out um plans just kind of changed I did not play the sims though I'll probably play it a little bit later because I know that's what I wanted to do was just like lay in bed um but I did end up like re-bleaching my eyebrows just because I got like kind of bored um but yeah I just wanted to say thanks for watching my get ready with me and uh we'll try again next time